And hello, Shima girls. Guess who's back? Shima from Shima Hair 21. And today I am bringing to you something really special. I'm calling it the Styling My Hair with Shima series. And in part one of this series, we're going to learn how I did these beautiful, juicy, popping spiral curls. <laughs> now I'm showing you all my hair from front to back and from side to side so we can all see what we're working with here. As a friendly reminder, I cut my hair down to three inches on the back and I'm currently in the process of a one year She My Hair Growth Challenge to grow it back long, strong, and healthy by using my own personal line of She My Hair Growth products and using my protective styling techniques. Now, for this tutorial, we're going to need my She My Hair Repair Leave-In Conditioner, the very one you see me happily holding in my hands here. This is an amazing detangler, ladies, that's going to give us incredible slip as we wrap our hair around the perm rods. And let's not forget our Shima hairline creams. And let's not forget that they also come in double the size 8 ounce bottles. The moisturizing potency of my Shima cream is no joke, ladies. And you will soon see why as we begin to use the product. And this is my Shima homemade hair butter, which you can use in place of my Shima hairline cream if you'd like. I totally developed it for natural hair textures to help you out with more potent moisture, more defined popping curls, more hair for your thinning hairlines and names, more hair thickness, and more moisture that lasts all day. And let's not forget my secret weapon against hair dryness, my Shima oil. I tell you ladies, when a product like this has been on the market for 14 years, and counting, it's doing something right. When you have the soothing, moisturizing effects of aloe vera, rosemary oil, coconut oil, soybean oil, almond oil, and the hair thickening properties of biotin, you officially have the recipe for the hair of your dreams in the palm of your hands. Now you will also need your rat tail combs, which is what works perfectly for me, detangling each individual hair strand and working in the products 100% better into the hair. You're gonna need your bobby pins and you're gonna need some jaw clips. These tools are gonna be essential at keeping unnecessary hair out of the way, ladies, and making the process to our gorgeous spiral curls so much easier. And here we go our perm rods. Now the perm rods that I'll be using today are 7 by 16 inch wide and 3.25 inches long. Perm rods come in different sizes and I chose this particular size for tighter curls and firmer hold. So the shorter the perm rods, the tighter the curls ladies. You'll see what I mean as the tutorial progresses. And so yes, let's do this Shima girls, let's do this. Now, even though my tutorial appears kind of lengthy, I needed it to be this way ladies, in order to teach you step by step how to properly use my Shima hair products from A to Z, so you can get your Shima spiral curls popping too. Now throughout this tutorial, I want you to mostly observe what I'm doing ladies, and I will only talk when absolutely necessary. So, we're going to watch and we're going to learn. Let's go! Exactly! The first product we're going to use is my Shima Hair Repair Leave-In Conditioner. But remember, this is after we finish washing our hair with our Shima Hair Repair Shampoo. And that's why you see my hair so damp, because I just finished washing out my Shima Hair Repair Shampoo. That's correct! Always start from the ends on up, ladies. Always start from the ends on up. There goes my rat tail comb. And what am I doing? Starting from the ends on up. You see, Shima girls, it's extremely important that our ends are detangled first so we won't lose any length as we proceed to detangle the rest of our hair. We don't want to set ourselves back after waiting a whole month to achieve that extra half an inch of hair growth, ladies or whatever length your body produced. Our goal is to preserve that hair growth. And here's where the jaw clips come in. Now, you can choose to use jaw clips or bobby pins, 
I chose to use jaw clips because it grabs so much more of my hair and keeps it in place firmly. And now let's proceed with Mashima Hairline Cream. Again, Mashima Hairline Cream is nothing like a gel, ladies. It is a cream that you can easily comb through while giving you tons of moisture and soft hold. As you can see, we're working in Mashima products one section at a time. And guess who's next? My Shima Oil. <laughs> this is the beauty that's going to add the pow in moisture, the pow in shine, and the pow in softness to your spiral curls, ladies. It's Shima Girl Power Time. <laughs> yeah. Now, hopefully, ladies, you've observed that I use my rattle comb after each and every product I've applied. This is all in an effort to keep the section detangled and straight in preparation for easy hair rolling with the perm rods. We don't want to roll up any tangled hair because that's exactly the shape it'll take once it dries in the perm rods. And we don't want that. We want neat, clean, gorgeous, popping spiral curls. And that's what you're gonna get if you follow my lead, ladies. And finally, the perm rods. <laughs> now, as you can see, the perm rods come with a little black rubber band like thing attached to its little cap at the end. We're going to pop in that little cap by stretching the rubber band once we roll it up to the top at the roots. This is the beginning of a gorgeous head full of Shima spiral curls in the making. Okay, so you saw that? I took the very end of my hair, twirled it around the perm rod before I began rolling it up. This technique is what keeps the ends of my hair in place and not peek out or shift around as I continue to roll my hair upwards. Also, make sure that you're pulling just tight enough for the hair to remain straight. You grab flyaways as you work your way up. If you need to mist again with Mashima Hair Repair Leave-In Conditioner, do so. Now, I have a confession to make. I haven't used perm rods since I was in high school. <laughs> yes, it's been that long. But as you can see, ladies, it's nothing that difficult. And if I can do it, so can you. Now, the further we go back on my hair, the longer the lengths become. Now what I do is thin out the lengths as much as I can so it will not overwhelm the perm rods. If the perm rods were longer and wider, of course, I would not have to thin out so much. You know, remove so much hair so the section can fit. Now, I want my spiracles to remain moist juicy and popping for days, at least a good solid week. And that's why you see me applying a generous amount of Mashima Hair Repair Leave-In Conditioner, Mashima Hairline Cream, and Mashima Oil to my hair. Remember Shima girls, I created Mashima Hair Growth products to be extremely light in weight and after feel, so we don't have to worry about heavy oils or heavy creams weighing down our hair. Also, remember the front of my hair is two textures. It is natural at the roots, at least a good four to five inches of it, and then relax the rest of the way. So as you can see, my Shima Hair Growth products can safely be used on both natural and relaxed hair textures. So I got you, girl. I got you. <laughs> I took my time to create my products specifically with Afro textured hair in mind. And that means natural or relaxed.
Okay, watch very closely how I get this done, ladies. Now, this super long length of hair I'm rolling up is going to take up all of the perm rod before I even reach the top. My technique is to simply continue to roll the hair from left to right or from right to left just as long as I keep rolling. You know, I'm gonna stack the hair on top of each other. Same procedure ladies, same procedure. Let's watch, learn, and observe. my hair products and protective styling will do for you too ladies but i mostly have to thank my shima oil for keeping my hair moisturized day after day because with my shima oil there is no more hair dryness and once the hair dryness is gone the hair growth begins shima girl shima girl shima girl power don't forget to wear your Shima Girl buttons, ladies, as well as your Shima Girl power bracelets. Remember, Shima Girls, I'm currently including my Shima Girl buttons and Shima Girl bracelets absolutely free whenever you buy a Shima product through my official website at ShimaHairCare.com. We're going to show these haters and doubters what we're made of. So come on. Let's go, Shima Girls. Let's go. The beautification continues. Remember, start at the ends, ladies. Start at the ends. your section and twirl it about and as you begin to roll up the rest of the hair it will be secured very easy ladies very easy once you get the hang of it so if you need to practice it go ahead and practice it Yes, 
We're almost there, ladies. Let's keep going because these she and my girl spiral curls are gonna be worth it. Yes, yes. As a reminder, these are the products you need to accomplish our goal. Mashima Hair Repair Leave-In Conditioner, Mashima Hairline Cream, or you can substitute the cream for Mashima Homemade Hair Butter instead. The moisture, the hold, and the result will still be incredible. So go ahead and use it, ladies. If you have Mashima Homemade Hair Butter, go ahead and use it. And last but never least, Mashima Oil. Mwah! my weapon against hair dryness and my secret to getting me to fairy tale mythical hair lengths and now it's helping me get there again through my one year shima hair growth challenge so yes yes get your shima oils ladies and let's grow some hair together and once we get there together let's maintain our hair lengths by daily moisturizing and weekly washings with all of our shima hair growth products she my girl, she my girl, she my girl power! Did you catch that? Did you see how I kind of widened the section as I rolled up the hair? This allows the hair to dry better this way. That's why I did it. And we are done, Shima girls! Woo! We are done! So for me, it took me about two hours and some change to finish. Remember, my hair is super long at the front. I separated small sections, which I thinned out by removing more hair as to not overwhelm the perm rod. So now it's the back's turn. As you can see, I am first spraying my Shima Hair Repair Leave-In Conditioner thoroughly, making sure it's all saturated nicely. Then I'm taking some of my Shima hairline cream and applying that gorgeous potent moisture on top. Remember, you can substitute my Shima hairline cream for my Shima homemade hair butter if you prefer, ladies. And third in line is my Shima oil. We're about to work that baby in as well. Hair dryness be gone. Let's go, ladies. Let's go. We're almost to the finish line. Ain't nothing gonna stop us now. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. Got it done. <laughs> you can see the moisture, the shine, and the softness a mile away. So imagine how it feels. Imagine how it's activating that hair growth. Okay, Shima girls. We are officially done with the perm rods. Next up. It's the unraveling of the pearl rods. See you there soon, ladies. And remember, let's continue to wear a Shima Girl button to keep us inspired throughout our journey. That's right, it's exactly two days later. So yes, that means I slept with my pearl rods for two straight days while wearing the huge black satin hair bonnet you see on my head. Now, here's the reason why I kept my pearl rods in for two straight days. Number one, to guarantee tighter curls, and number two, to guarantee a longer lasting style. So that's why I did it. However, you don't have to do it this way, ladies. You can simply sit under the hair dryer and be done with it the same day. Now, here is how we unravel these perm rods. Again, let's watch and learn, ladies. And as you can see, we begin to unravel them gently. Every step in our styling process requires gentle handling, ladies. To what? To preserve our hair growth. Woo! Look 
at that cute Shima girl, Spyro girl, looking springy, looking bouncy, looking moist and juicy. And it maintains its shape. And why? Again, thanks to my Shima hair repair leave-in conditioner, my Shima hairline cream, and my Shima oil that we apply throughout the process. Because remember, that's how we got here, ladies, with my Shima hair products slaying each step of the way. Again, refresh your course, ladies, refresh your course. What products did we use? From my Shima oil, which is excellent at moisturizing and wiping out hair dryness on the spot with its amazing penetrating ingredients like the soybean oil, rosemary oil, almond oil, coconut oil, ginseng extract, and biotin to thicken up the hair. Second in line to wipe out that hair dryness is my Shima hairline cream. I am holding the big eight ounce jar, which will last you for months. On average, at least two. And why? Because it is so potent that you only need to apply a little bit, just a little bit. This cream is responsible for the amazing hold you see, but without hardening your hair like a gel. So the curls are soft to the touch and can actually be easily combed through if you want to. Now, remember, if my spiral curl tutorial seems a little lengthy to you, it's because I needed it to be that way in order for you ladies to really see and understand how to correctly use my Shima Hair Girl products to yield you the incredible results you want with your spiral curls as well as your hair growth journey. it put a little spring in that walk she my girl now that spring you see that springs up and down so beautifully it's a sign of how healthy the hair is Mashima hair repair shampoo did its cleansing Mashima hair repair leaving conditioner did its detangling and Mashima hairline cream and Shima oil did their moisturizing and this is the result neat juicy popping beautiful Shima Girl Spiral Curl. Thank you for watching Shima Girls. That's right, there will be a part two. The different styles we can create with our Shima Girl Spiral Curls. So stay tuned and see you all soon.